This is TNT Sports Podcast. QT Ski. LK. Let's go. TNT, we back. Logging in to see that. Wins and losses, crazy crosses, holding one. Talking golf and rolling one. Got me coughing every weekend, so it's often. And I'm dropping every week. Name the topic we can speak. From the Rockets to the Heat. Well, the Rockets to the net. Slick, weird, big beard. On my James Harden flex. No one came as hard as this. Watch me Shannon sharpen it. I depart like marking this. TNT, that's a T with a hyphen. ENT, if you're typing, seeing me, that's a like this. C-O-T, shout my bikers, and we do it just like Max is like I'm Steven A. Tag me in your subject. TikTok, Facebook, Graham, or Twitter page. Tell me who you loving. Big discussions for you, sport or house. Jackie Moon Tropics. What that like? Oakland straight 30 by Tommy Brady pockets. Who had grunk up in the party? Toss Lombardi, get it started. Mardi Gras Mike can't be guarded. My new spicy like New Orleans weather. Local national form, we get it. Working yeah, overtime, cafe, do mine with the coverage. I'm on you at no the line. No one came as hard as this. Watch me Shannon sharpen it. I depart like marking this. TNT, we back. Logging in to see that. Wins and losses, crazy crosses, holding one. Talking golf and rolling one. Got me coughing every weekend, so it's often. And I'm dropping every week. Lane the topic, we just... Good morning, this is TNT Sports Podcast, episode number 88. And this morning, I got two of my guys from back in the high school days, man, on um, Pike County, Alabama, Brandon, Alabama, man. Uh, Zed and Tevin, man, what's good with y'all, man? Cool, cool, man. And uh, I want y'all to tell my people a little bit about y'all self before I even get into it. What's up, Zed? Yeah, man, I'm Zed. Zed, uh, you can find me on Instagram, and then Zed. Yeah, man, pretty much the same thing. We grew up, you know, going to Pike County High School. We actually attended uh, Pike County High, played basketball, played a little football, which I know how that went. Terrence, you know, yeah. what happened with that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, we just here, man. We had to push the brand, man. Uh, just moved to Atlanta from Texas a year ago, and hit the ground running with, with the brand, trying to get the brand going. Cool, cool. All right, speaking on y'all brand, man, can y'all explain the name of it and everything, the name, the brand, how it came about and all that good stuff? Okay, well, yeah, the name of our brand is actually Pendez. Pendez is actually, uh, it stands for Piney Woods in French, which is uh, where we grew up in Brandon, Alabama. It was um, kind of like a little country cul-de-sac where a couple of us grew up at, where we stayed there growing up. Really family rooted, small town. Like Terrence, uh, Terrence knows that real yeah. family oriented, thousand population. Yeah, like small, super small. We don't have that many people, so everybody really knows everybody. So it's a good thing to be from someone so small and be able to, you know what I'm saying, touch so many people that's, you know what I'm saying, a different area. A lot of big things come out of Brandon, Alabama, man. Yeah. A so, lot of big things. I got you, man. Man, what made y'all do the clothing brand? Dog? What made y'all do that, man? I know y'all always been fly. Growing up, man. Honestly, man, what, what really happened was uh, he actually have a partner, man. Uh, that was incarcerated for a total of three years. Yeah. Uh, it's, we we talked to him every day, man. His dream, but uh, before he even got out, he was always talking about doing a clothing brand. At the time, before we started, we were actually doing the next brand. We got on the website, got to see, uh, got on the internet, and got to notice that a lot of people already had the name. So we wanted to come with something a little more authentic. And like I say, uh, Ben Dez, man, we actually, we were very family oriented. Uh, we all got on the phone, made a decision on what we should go with, and yeah, man, uh, that's how we got the name, Ben Dez. 
Cool, man. Like I said, I'm going to call y'all the future of fashion, man. Y'all killing it, man. I'm proud of y'all boys, man. No, we definitely appreciate that. You killing it too, bro. Man, I'm trying, man. Future, just... And you the future of podcast. I appreciate it, man. With the brand, man, like, I know this is a sports podcast, so if you can pick five athletes, professional, uh, whether it's college, uh, professional, NBA, NFL, who would you have rock your stuff, man? Yo. The Heisman one on. Lisa Keys, okay. And uh, probably somebody like Doc Rivers. Okay, that's dope, man. You know, Doc played for Atlanta back in the day, man. So that's, that's dope. Like, I'm, a big, you know what I'm, I'm a big Doc Rivers fan, like I said. Or my, I might say Ty Lewis. Ty Lewis and Doc Rivers probably my favorite. <clears throat> one of them two, probably my favorite. Cool, so y'all fool, y'all fool with Austin Rivers too, right? Since that's Doc's son, huh? No, I wouldn't even do Austin. He'll probably be back because I gave the brother one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I see y'all got the um, chosen one shirts with LeBron, you know, the Space Jam thing, man. How did that come about? Just being a LeBron fan, man, you know, him um, really taking that movie and really bringing it, you know what I'm saying, making it real kid friendly, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Him just being LeBron. You know, the, you know the persona for LeBron gives off everybody loves LeBron because even if you don't like him as an athlete, you still love him and the things he do off the court. You know what I'm saying? He's known to what it's so it's so it's so easy to put a guy on, on your brand like that that gives back and does so much for the community. It's like he's like one of the community activists that we wanna that we aspire to be, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I mean, like I said, LeBron dope, man. Um, like you said, on on the on and off the court, man. I, I'm a big fan of him, man. Cause I got a chance to interview his best friend a while back, man. Uh, Romeo Travis, which was dope, man. So yeah, LeBron definitely one of my big time faves, man. But uh, well, man. Like, Yeah. Definitely J. Cole. Um, as far as athletes, LeBron would be one. Chris Paul. I know those things about Chris Paul. That's my guy. Hmm. I'm just thinking athletes. I mean, make it be anybody. You can be rap with athletes, whoever, man. Sure. Oh, <laughs> He said Obama. Uh, but yeah, LeBron, J. Cole, of course Ross. I really do. I'm a big Rick Ross fan as well. Yeah, well. I, like Rick, I like what Rick Ross actually does for the community, man. And, uh, last, I would probably say, Steph Curry. It's going to be weird. I would love to see Sean King back there. I don't know if a lot of y'all know who Sean King is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that can't be impossible, man. Shoot, y'all might, you know, he might rock that, you know. Anything is possible. Right? Yeah, man. Anything is possible, man. We expect that possible sometimes. Right, right, man. Man, what? So, what's the goal for y'all, man? Like, what's the what's the ultimate goal? Like being on Fashion Week or something like that. Like, what's the goal? Of course, that. Of course, that. But the main goal right now is to get Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's dope, man. That's dope, man. Look, man. I thought I saw Donald Trump rocking y'all brand the other day, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's mess with y'all, man. <laughs> I'm just playing. Shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be bad. Look, any publicity is good publicity, bro. I don't care. Any influence. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Man, let's get let's get off this for a second, man. What about um Henry Rose, man? What like what y'all think about that whole situation with you know? 
What's y'all thoughts on this? Tough one, man. You know, he just—he really just starting his career. You know, he's still what is his second year? Second year, second year. Yeah, second man. Year. So, like I said, it's crazy to see how I many people turning their back on him already, man. And I don't know, man. Just that's sad. That's a sad situation. Man. I hate to say that, but for our community, it sucks. But you go through that, bro. And yeah. our community goes through those ups and downs, and it really lets you know who really gonna stick with you through. You know what I'm saying? The good and the bad. You know what I'm saying? So. I hate to say it's a good thing, but you know what I'm saying? Because it's not a good thing, but what comes out of um, your family? Right, 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 right. That's how he responds. Yo, that's true, man. So, I mean, like I said, well, prayers to him, and we hope we hope everything work out for him, man, because they talk about some major years for him. So, like I said, well, we, don't, we, don't, we don't make that final call, so we'll see what happens, man. That's right. All right. Man, but Tim, man, you still balling, man. How that's going, man? Y'all need, to, y'all need to stream that, man. Man, you know what, oh, man? You know that man would stream that. Let it out do him bang. <laughs> hey, I'm actually 10 times better now, bro. He can't stop. If he 10 times better, what you think I am? Big man. Man, about 100 times better, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Real, man. Tell him, man, if you had the choice to go against two NBA players right now, live, in front of 2 million people, what would those two NBA players be? Who would they be? Run for his money. I don't know, man. I, I let Lavar. I, I let Lavar Ball discuss that one, man. I let him say who will win that one, man. You know, <laughs> my son. <laughs> yeah, I, man. Lavar said he can beat Jordan, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lavar expert, man. That like boy wear a hat. Say I told you so. <laughs> Dude, that uh, man. I need to get a matter of fact, LeVar Ball, man, I would love to interview you too. <laughs> For real, that'll, that'll be epic. That'll be dope. That'll be dope interview, bro. I'm going to be surprised if he's up next right after us, bro. Man, we'll see Big Baller brand, man. I want to ask him, how he charging, what, $2,000 for a pair of shoes? Man, I'm like, woo. I'm like, man. Hey, he's, he, he, he what you call, he's sitting in the market. Hey, like I tell people, man. I tell a lot of people, man, you stick, you set a price up, you stick with it. Like, don't be, right. don't be dang right. trying to, like, make people happy or whatever, man. You stick with that price, dog. So, That's I ain't right. mad at him, bro. Your price is your price. Yeah, know your word, man. If, if you feel like your show, your job should be $5,000, stick with it. Somebody gonna pay for it. I mean, don't shortcut yourself. If somebody gonna pay it, that's what you think it's worth. Somebody gonna pay it, I guarantee they are. Man, we see, we see that firsthand with Jordan. He bringing out shoes that came out in the 80s, in the 90s. <laughs> man, you see that firsthand with he- Going on, bro. Oh, yeah. That's the way, man. Shut up in that. The metaverse, NFTs, online, crypto, all that. Like, that's, that's going to take this dude. It's going to take over. You know, they're doing a lot of studying with that as well, man. Yeah, man. My guy, um, Edward, man. Shout out to Edward that live in Atlanta. You know, his dad, big dude from the boys in the hood. He big on crypto, too, man. So, yeah, man. It's, it's major. So, definitely that crypto. Yeah, buddy, yeah, we'll see. I, I, 
I see what I can get on May happen, man. You know, he cool dude, yeah. man. Like I said, he a real cool dude. You know, he entrepreneur as well. I ain't gonna lie, I've been, I need to get back to read. I've been so busy, man. I usually read all the time, but it's been crazy lately. But yeah, I mean, that book was dope, man. I think I read it twice, actually. I read it. I read it. Yeah, I man, I, I try to tell people, man, like. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, man. I mean, you, like I said. It was a lot of information in the book that nobody would know unless you read the book. Honestly, man. Man, you're not going to get none of this information unless you read the book. You know what I'm saying? It's giving a lot of personal information from his, you know what I'm saying, from his self. Yeah, because people ask me, how you do this? How you do that? And I'm not telling you that. Like, you got to read the book. Like, I'm not. Right, I, would, I mean, I, I got a lot going on, too. So. In that game, which, I mean. is a, which, is, which is a beautiful thing. Like they said, bro, they, they put a lot of stuff in these books that they going to tell you about. Right. And think about it, man. A lot of millionaires, man, they read. You know what I'm saying? So, man, gotta read. Gotta read. Try to express that to people, man, but they ain't trying to hear that, man. Like, and I tell people yeah. too, man, act on situations, man. Like, don't be putting it off. You know what I'm saying? Some people like, I might tell them to do this, do that. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm wait. Till, hey, what? <laughs> like, man, just do it now. Tomorrow might not be here. Thanks, man. Like, you may, you may have a person walk to where you at, be right in your presence. And he's like, okay, what you got? You ain't got no content, so what can you show him? Can you bring exactly. it up? Like, exactly. I'm saying, y'all, yeah, I mean, y'all might meet, let's say y'all might meet uh, P. Diddy or something. You know how he is. He real cocky and confident, man. Man, got this clothing brand or whatever, man. Like, y'all, what y'all got there, man? What y'all got? Let me see it. You looking crazy, you ain't got it. <laughs> so, I'm, you got to be active on what you do, man. Be persistent, and I'm putting nothing off to the next day, man. Facts, man. Show sure facts, man. Like I said, I tell people all the time. Go ahead. You understand that? No, no, I was disagreeing with you. Yeah, like I said, I tell people, man, I don't even write interviews down, bro. Like, I just do them. Like, I don't even, I don't write that crap, man. Because, like, somebody hit me up and be like, oh, what's the name you want to do an interview? All right, let's do it. Like, I don't, I don't write all that stuff down, man. <laughs> so, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's good quality too, man. Like I said, y'all sent me a shirt too, man. So it's definitely good quality, man, for sure. You know you're in too, man. Good quality. That's another thing, man. You know, you, you, you're a podcaster, but you also got good quality clothing. Give them the best of both worlds. And I still ain't took this one fan off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that on the line, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I saw that on the line. Yeah, man. Like I said, I mean, like I said, presentation, everything too, man. Like you said, I like dressed up, being clean, flies, flies hell too, man. So I feel like I like people to wear what I wear too, man. And shout out to uh, Carlos, man. I was watching uh, Beehive Radio um, on YouTube. He was speaking on branding because he got no 85 South Show or whatever like that. They got their own brand, and he was saying it ain't about the money; it's about people touching your product and wearing it, man. Like just to see people wear your stuff is dope. Like it's just. It's amazing. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, my cousin Zia's wife, Felicia, man. She's a very big help, bro. You know, like, you understand how much she would have done for us and this company, bro. Like, without her, like, we really wouldn't, this shit really wouldn't run out as smooth as, it's, as it seemed to be running. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my wife. You have to boss lady, huh? Boss lady, man. She <laughs> keeps us in here. That's dope. It's I mean, team, man. Honestly, Candace is a. It's a team, right, man. Right. It's a team, man. I'll be honest, there's so many of us. I don't want to shout out everybody because I don't want to miss no names. Right, tell me, man. Everybody already knows. Everybody knows what's up, man. To everybody, man. It's, it's a team. It's a, it's a family for real, man. Everybody play their role. Even yeah. like you, been like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like you putting us on this platform, even you buying shirts from us, and you know what I'm saying? Look, shouting us out, just really putting, you know what I'm saying? Putting us on game on the book. Like you don't understand how much you did for the. You know what I'm I know you probably. Like, no control, really understand, bro. But you really did. Appreciate it. Right. No problem, man. Like I say, it don't cost nothing to support nobody, man. Especially your own, man. So, Wait, that's nothing. Like I said, that's nothing. That's free. Yeah, man. Man, what's, what's next for the brand, huh? Like, what's, what's going on with that? What's next with it? Right now, man, honestly, uh, we actually working on releasing a baby, uh, 
kids line. My kids called the line, man. We trying to actually have that uh, executed before the beginning of next year. And uh, get some photos with some kids and stuff. So yeah, that's that's what's coming next. That's dope as hell, man. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. Man. Well, so we, def we definitely want to do a sports line for sure. Like that's gonna be in the works. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a lot of athletes. Um, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with the brand, so we definitely want to bring, bring a sports, um, some sports apparel about. Like, so we'll probably focus on the kids first, and then go. You know what I'm saying? Try to um, figure so out. Also, a pee wee league or something, do something for the kids. Yeah, 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 man. Which fight kind of would have made their jerseys here? You know how um, the two of this guys made the jerseys down there. And, um, Shout out to two of them. Mobile. Oh yeah. Shout out to man. They've been rocking with us lately, uh, putting us on game. Uh, you know, showing us some things, doing a lot of things with us. So, yeah, man. Big shout out to the NBA, all those two of them boys, man. Yeah, y'all still doing, y'all still doing pop ups too, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Sure, man. We actually want to, we actually want to plan a fashion show. So we're gonna take the time to really um, do the research and find a good venue and know a good time to do it. And you know what I'm saying? What's in season and when to do it would be a good time, you know what I'm saying? But a fashion show is definitely in the works for us. Where y'all gonna do it at? Like I said, probably, you know what I'm saying? We're in Atlanta, so possibly Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We, we would never count out where we're from, but you know what I'm saying? Hey. We'll probably be able to get more people to come over here, honestly. Let's say this, man. Like we all from Troy to Pike County, Brunage area, man. We love we love that area, man, but you know, we gotta build something first. So you may have to do it out of you know in Atlanta or California or whatever, man. Then you can go back and do all that other stuff, man. But you know, they understand, I'm sure. For real. Right. We definitely gonna wear our options. We just wanna make sure it's the best for us. Like I said, if if it was mm -hmm. we have to do it down there here, we wouldn't be opposed to it, honestly. Right, right. right. Be, you know what I'm saying? Be what it's supposed to be. Right. Yeah, man. Hey, if y'all do that jumping around, let me know. I'm I'm, I'm bringing some people with me. You know, you know first name. I'm bringing exactly. people with me. For sure. Uh, man, what about y'all gonna do some jerseys and stuff like that too? Or y'all just on, on the shirt, the shirts and the pants and the sweatsuits and stuff like that? Man, we want to touch everything. Man, we want, it's so much stuff we want to do. Man, we like, like our minds race so much to the point that we forget things. You know what I'm saying? So many ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, man. And hopefully, man, y'all get some like some celebs to rock y'all stuff, man, and post it as well, man. Of course, of course. Uh, and some definitely some athletes. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all can get some Alabama players or different players to rock y'all stuff. That's not a problem because it's not no BS. You know, it's dope stuff. It's dope quality stuff. Like some stuff you're finding. Um, him is on uh, different stores and stuff like that, so it's not no BS though, for real. Definitely, I think that'll probably come once we probably hit the road again and hit somewhere like Tuscaloosa or something like that, you know, to really get in the city and let the city really see what we have um, to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, we're definitely going to be rocking with y'all, man. We're going to be rocking with y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. So, hey, we're going to wrap it up, man. Y'all got any shout outs or anything? Or how about people can come reach out to y'all, get a shirt or get outfits or whatever? Oh, definitely, man. You can reach us at, um, we have a website, www.pendez.com. Um, you can follow me at Pendez Tim on Instagram. I'm Pendez Z. Pendez, yeah. And, uh, our Instagram is Pendez underscores. Uh, Pendez on Facebook. Pendez the brand on Twitter. Okay. Uh, just updated our website. You should have checked that out, man. The website going crazy right now. Yeah, I saw it. It's dope. It looked good, man. First one looked good too, but this one looked dope too. For sure, man. Yeah. Sean again, TNT Sports. Pap Star. Oh yeah, Sean and Pap Star. Um, one of our new artists and one of our new collabs. Uh, real Bagley, you know Real, um, he's from Brundage, um, yeah. he's doing real dope things with his music, uh, that would be a dope, I think those would be two dope uh, people you should interview, that would be a very dope interview you would, you know, you would have. Okay. Uh, Squeak D, shout out my boy Squeak, shout out Blackbone, everybody man, man, you know what I'm saying, shout out the whole Pendez family, Pendez team, Pike County in general. Yeah, shout out to Pike County. Junior Springs down there man, so many man, so much shout out to some of the people out there looking out for us, helping us out, man, it's crazy. Yeah, y'all reached out to Melody yet? Y'all reached out to her yet? I have not. Yeah. Not yet. I think she likes something the other day. Okay. Okay. But yeah. no, we have. We actually have. That'll probably, that's, that's probably something we should, um, so that'll be dope. Yeah. We just, we, we always try to produce the material from it, just, just 
And we want everything to be genuine, man. We want to just be inbox to everybody, you know what I'm saying? But that would be dope since we all from the same place. That would be real. That would be real, though. Yeah, that would be super dope. That would be real, though, man. Her mom actually, you know, her mom reached out to as well. So, man, you know, we, we got to make that happen. Yeah, it's going to happen, man. Just, it's a process. You know, trust the process, man. Yeah, man, but shoot, we're going to wrap it up, man. Uh, this TNT Sports Podcast, episode number 88. Good morning. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate you, my guy. Have a good night, man. All right, man.